As I was telling my friend Rosie, now that you broke your hand catching my line drive, you're going to need me to drive you to the office. Well, it's a little awkward, Hazel, but I can still drive the car. No kidding. Believe me, Hazel, I could do anything I could do before I hurt the hand. Well, what are you standing there for? Just waiting for you to cut your meat. <laughs> Is he Harold? He followed me. Oh, he's a doozy. What's his name? I don't know. We haven't been introduced. <laughs> he's a smiley one. Look at him smile, Harold. Smiley one. Do you want to pet him? Where'd you find him, Harold? Some man stopped his car and got out and pulled Smiley out by this rope. And then he got back in the car and forgot all about him and drove away. Oh, imagine that. I'd never forget a swell dog like this. Can I keep him? Well, the man will be back for him. He's going to feel pretty silly when he knows you forgot him. Maybe he's hungry, Harold. We'll fix him something to eat and you can play with him for that long anyway, huh? Oh, sure. I bet he does tricks and everything. He looks like a smart dog to me. Uh-huh. Go get it, Smiley. We just have to get a dog. Well, you got a pretty good one right there. You think you can convince Mr. B? I've never had any luck so far. It's not that George dislikes dogs. He likes them. It's, well, dogs just seem to dislike him. Oh, yes, I've heard all about that. Now, Hazel, remember Harold's birthday two years ago when George at least tried it with that schnauzer puppy? Sure. If the little dope hadn't bitten Mr. B on his way home from the kennel, why didn't he wait until he got his paw in the door? <laughs> but this is such a friendly fella. I think I can sell Mr. B. What about it? I do want Harold to have a dog. Oh, just leave it to me, Missy. Do you think you can? Sure. I'll keep him in your workshop, and then after dinner, when Mr. B's all relaxed, I'll just ease him into the subject. <laughs> Harold's almost ready for bed. He'll call you for his prayers. Oh, it sure is a pleasure to work in a house like this. Nice people like you two. <laughs> and little Harold. Well, you know how I feel about him. <laughs> Thanks, Hazel. We're very fond of you, too. How's your hand, Mr. B? Oh, it's coming along fine, thanks. Would you like a pillow to rest it on? No, no, thank you. How about another cup of coffee? Not for me, Dorothy. No, thank you, Hazel. Would you like a brandy? How about a snifter of brandy? Oh, thank you, Hazel. I don't care for a thing. How about a dog? No, I don't want it. A what? Harold was playing with the most adorable dog this afternoon. The sweetest, afternoon. friendliest little fellow you ever saw. Loves everybody, especially men. Now, wait a Harold minute. Harold just loved that dog. He's happier than he'd ever been in his whole life. Now, wait. Harold a... needs a dog. Every red-blooded boy needs a dog. Hazel, uh... A boy and his dog Hazel, like... will you please keep quiet? <laughs> now, look, both of you. If it were possible, I would love Harold to have a dog. You can't say I haven't tried. But this is such a friendly little fellow. Look, you fella. remember the schnauzer I bought for his birthday? It bit me before I got home. Oh, well. And that's remember good. the Sealyham. Well, he missed his mother. He barked all night, the neighbors complained, and he nipped me before I could get him back to the pet shop. <laughs> Look, believe me, I wish dogs liked me, but they don't. I guess there's just something about my chemistry. But, George... Then there was Mr. this other... Mr. I'll make you a fair proposition. You come outside and look at this pooch, and if you don't fall in love with him... You, you mean he's outside? Yeah, in Missy's <laughs> workshop. You want me to bring him in? No. Where'd he come from? Somebody abandoned him. But he's a swell dog, Mr. B. Now, Hazel, you too, dear. I hate to put my foot down, but it's down. I understand, darling, but Harold was so happy with that dog. Dorothy, what am I going to do? Coming, Harold. Hazel, you have to get rid of that dog. Yes, I'll find a good home for him in a few days. Not a few days. <laughs> well, tomorrow, then. No, not tomorrow, tonight. 
I don't want him to see that dog again. You'll want to keep it, and it'll just be hard for him to understand why I can't have a dog around. Oops. Oh, yeah. Now I lay me down to sleep. I pray the Lord my soul to take. Keep? Yeah. If I should die before I wake, I pray the Lord my soul to keep. Take? Yeah. God bless Dad and Mother and Hazel and... Is it all right to mention dogs? Oh, yes. And please bless Mighty the dog and make that man stop forgetting him because Mighty gets hungry and thirsty and he needs to be taken care of. But if that man does forget again, please let it be in front of my house. Amen. So if you could keep him for a couple of days, you know, then maybe I could get him back here permanent. <laughs> oh, no, he won't be in your way. He'll be company for the desk sergeant. <laughs> oh, thanks, Chuck. I'll bring him right down. Oh, his name's Smiley. The way he was sitting there. Well, I could take him down to the police station and let him see Smiley, but I guess that wouldn't be so smart. It's past our just wanting a dog. We need one. There must be some way. Wait a minute. Burglars. What? Why does everybody need a dog? For protection against burglars. Wow, Missy, you hit it right on the nose. <laughs> Thanks for the paper, Mr. B. Did you see that item in the paper about the big burglary over on the north side? Really? A, a big burglary over on the north side. Oh, sure, that shows you. We can have burglaries right here in our own town. That's right, Hazel. Don't you agree, George, that burglaries can happen right here? Are you talking about that burglary in the paper where they took a table radio and a carton of soft drinks? Well, it's probably a bunch of kids. Well, uh, did you see the item on the back page? About the $75,000 jewel burglary? 75000 well, who'd keep that much jewelry in their house? Well, that don't matter. The point is you can't be too careful, Mr. B. Oh. <laughs> who was it? Some folks named Adamson. Adamson? Adamson? Here, let me see it. Hazel, will you let me see it? <laughs> Cleveland police yesterday... <laughs> Cleveland, Ohio. Well, it can happen here, too, Mr. B. Oh, nonsense. This neighborhood is the finest police protection of any suburb in the East. Well, that may be, but the police can't be watching every single house. You know, the burglars could be here and the police are liable to be somewhere else. That's though. true, Hazel. So the only sensible thing to do is to get a dog to protect you from the burglars. Right, <laughs> right, right. Okay? Uh, just a minute. Now, if we do get a dog... Yeah? ...to protect us from the burglars... Yes? Who's going to protect me from the dog? <laughs> now, you can just stop your propaganda because I'm on my way to bed. Good night. Good night, George. Good night, Mr. B. I'm afraid we didn't impress him much with our danger from burglars. Oh, don't worry. He's going to be plenty impressed before the night's over. You stay awake. And when you hear a noise down here, you'll know that a burglar has slipped through the best police protection of any suburb in the... <laughs> I tiptoeing for. <laughs> Burglars! 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 
Hey, what's going on? Uh, nothing, Harold. The wind just blew the door open. Please go back to bed. I'll take you, dear. George, I'll never feel safe in this house again. No, and I'll never feel safe either. Now, please don't jump to conclusions. Just let me size the situation up first. What's it to size up? The burglar heard us and scrammed without even closing the door. <laughs> uh, must have been a burglar, all right. Or worse. What do you mean, worse? Remember, they never found Jack the Ripper. <laughs> Come on now, sport. Hurry up. The bus is waiting. Have a good day at school. Mind your teacher. OK, Hazel. <laughs> Good morning, Hazel. Did Mr. B say it's OK about Smiley? I haven't asked him yet. Well, George, it's best not to ask him to make any decisions till he's wide awake. Oh, he ought to realize by this time we need a dog for protection. Oh, I'm not worried. I do feel a little guilty about last night, though. Oh, look, I'm still shaking from last night. All right, Hazel, don't dramatize. And coffee's all I want. I'm late. Oh, nothing will kill a man's appetite quicker than having a burglar in the house. I said it's because I'm late. Look how jumpy you are. <laughs> Sir, we certainly need burglar protection around here. We certainly do. I'm pretty upset about what happened last night, even though nothing seems to be missing. Well, nothing really happened, I guess. Well, it could have. I keep thinking about the nights I'm out of town with you here all alone. So I've decided to get some protection. Ain't he a doozy? Oh, George, uh, darling, you're just going to love that dog. Who said anything about a dog? <laughs> Before I came down, I called Robert's Hardware. Their men will be here late this afternoon to install a burglar alarm. Burglar alarm? Burglar alarm. Yes, for protection. But Mr. B. Yes? Don't burglar alarms cost a lot of money? Well, yes, but if we need it, we need it. Mr. B. Hazel, I'm going to be late for the office. That burglar last night, it wasn't a burglar. What do you mean, it wasn't a burglar? It was me. What? Yes, I, I made all the noise because I, I wanted to scare you into thinking it was a burglar so you'd get a dog. <laughs> you mean all the running around and then all that time? You're going to be late for the office, Mr. B. I don't care if I am. George, I was in on it, too. You? No, I know we were wrong, darling, but we wanted that dog so much. Dorothy! You will be late, dear. All right, all right, so you did it. The incident's closed. But you're going to forget once and for all about selling me on dogs, understand? Shall I call and cancel the burglar alarm? Certainly not. I have to have it now. You put burglars in my head. <laughs> I feel just awful. So do I. It was a terrible idea. It sure was. Gotta think of a better one. Hold your horses! <laughs> Why did you bring home my dog at a time like this? Oh, I'm sorry, Hazel. Orders from the chief. Oh, but you put me on a terrible spot. Well, you know I'd like to help you out, Hazel, but well, you know the way the chief is about regulations. Yeah, well, okay. Good night, Chuck. Good night, Hazel. Well, you'll have to bunk with me tonight, but don't you make any noise, because if Mr. B hears you, we'll both end up in that big doghouse in the sky. <laughs> Smiley. 
Will you please shut that thing off? <laughs> There's a very good explanation for this, Mr. B. Only I can't just think of it at the minute. Smiley, Smiley! Harold, Harold. Please go back to bed. Dorothy. Aha. Uh -huh. So this is the dog Harold was playing with the other day. Yeah, you ought to see him together. The same dog you had in mind when you were saying we need a dog? Yeah, I'm so glad you see it my way, Mr. B. <laughs> and the reason for our burglar invasion last night. Oh. <laughs> which resulted in my paying $185.40 for a burglar alarm. Oh, Harold's just wild about him. Ain't he cute? Out. Shake hands with a nice man, Smiley. Out. Oh, Mr. B, I couldn't put a dog out on a night like this. The way I feel, I could put you out on a night like this. <laughs> I'll find a home for you tomorrow, Smiley, I promise. Now, it'll be warm in the basement, and he won't hear you there. If I'd had any sense, I would have put you there in the first place. But I wanted you with me. <laughs> Come on, boy. Okay, Spot, time to get... Oh, the poor little guy. All that commotion scared him. Harold? He's not in here. He's not in his room and he's not downstairs. Harold! Harold! Oh, Harold! 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 He's run away. Well, his clothes are up in his room. 
A boy can run away in his pajamas, you know. <laughs> Harold! That's where he is. <laughs> He's a real good dog, Mr. B. He loves everybody. He wouldn't even bite a burglar. <laughs> Let's find out. Come on, boy. His name's Smiley. Come on, Smiley. Did you ever see such a steady hand in your whole life? <laughs> Has been a Screen Gems film production from the Hollywood studios of Columbia Pictures.